the departure of the Grimoire system in Destiny 1. Along comes some, some items it's in Destiny 2. Comes with a handy lot tab. The the brief um, scripture is whistle with a. This is for the tilt fuse vehicle. Whistle with a few more revs. Zan would turn this thing into the fastest bomb you've never saw. Good thing for all of us, he never got the chance, Amanda Holiday. And the full brief of lore is it would only take one shot. That ridiculous ceremonial armor had ten weaknesses that Baraka Zan could not spot without even looking that closely. One good shot and everyone else would have abandoned this foolish crusade on this miserable planet. This is all of them, question mark. The almost advanced weapons you have, question mark. Zan, try not to lose his temper. Would I have made the trip all the way to this throne room without them? It was a lie, of course, but this puffed up Dominus didn't need to know about the experiment till vehicle Zan have been working on since. Where where are you, Zan? I would think hard before giving so flippant an answer. This was the consul who had de deposed Zan's best customer. Zan didn't turn around as he said, if I were you, Roach, I would think hard before uh, wasting the time of the only real weapons supplier you've got. Growls from all over the room, but Zan smiled. They needed him and they knew it. However, that was a brief law about Zan's the intentions. This barrow came from the nightfall which was the arms dealer. That was the brief um, law telling and yeah, it was a great way of knowing of, of what is really attention czar. But it looks like the consul was not happy about his motives and his ambitions. So that was the that bit of law and let's see it's in action to go for a little ride. This is not like most sparrows to say most of the scent of the exotic sparrows up until now has been heavily weighted on Eververse and through the bright engram system 
But however, this is, was a red drop rate from the nightfall. However, some reported to get it through prestige and some of them has been reported to get it through normal. However, me on the other hand, hop onto a few sessions of um, guided games and in the third run it d dropped. But uh, the main thing was about it, m many people was uh, did more of a strike y unique um, weapon as is the grand tradition in the Destiny 1 where y unique is like um, armor and weapon pieces were dropping from various strikes which was a uh, took a hard grind to get them through until the skeleton key system came in the rise of iron which changed the way people was getting their drops But uh, this time around, it's uh, been all weapon uniques, and that they had things like in sparrows and ghosts and such. Many was heavily disappointed in the sparrow. Point being is, he didn't have any fancy. Trails. Light comes out the other side. But as, 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 as rideability, it's great. Um, was was it the recommended grind for everybody? Um, To many, most people probably not, to, to others um, most definitely. And it's quite a good decent <laughs> sparrow. And yes, there was many concerns about it being oh, as another sparrow you see in the Eververse is a reskin and everything else, la di da di da di da di da that I've been hearing a thousand times over. And yeah, it's a decent sparrow. You can. It, if you don't like the look of it, you can change the colour by throwing a shader on it. And it comes with a couple of the trans. It comes with a transmat reloader, sparrow mod increase. Transmat speed, custom drive, and expertly tuned NLS drive providing the best possible performance. It says this vehicle takes less time to summon. Not not like some of which takes a bit of a, a while. It, it does its job like any of us barrow. It gets around, it goes from point A 
to point B. I'm not particularly fussed about the the trail. To me, Sparrow is a Sparrow, no matter what trail it does, it, as long as it does its job, goes from point A to point B on something like the EDZ, it is is fine. Um, if they had the SRL, would it win which races? Probably not because there's a lot better sparrows out there that's equipped to to win the races. But as a, as a normal vehicle, to uh, I should say as a as a rare um, sparrow, it is is okay for going to different areas as if you're doing things like. Um, Strikes and um, other activities and that. What would I rate this um, tilt fuels um, sparrow? A solid ten. Because it's a good looking sparrow and is great in design. Um, the design team at Bungie designed it very well, <laughs> right down to the f f f fine art. I know some of them said they would like it to shoot um, stuff out of it, but it's, it's a sparrow and not a pike. But it's pretty damn good to get around. See, I just uh, took a couple of hits and it didn't cause it almost a, a dent. And I'm uh, gonna get to somewhere safe. I think round here will do. And that's my brief, uh, that's my law and review on the tip for sparrow from the arms dealer Nightfall. This is me, Frankie Crofts Mills. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share with a friend and wherever you are in the world have a great day and stay safe may the force be with you and 
Fedi, well, 